Hey guys, Refuse and More back with a quick tech review. This is on the DB Power Backlit LED keyboard. And as always, please, if you find this review helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. So the uh, first thing I'm going to say about this keyboard, because it's probably the first question to be asked, it is not mechanical. And that box display, what it shows on there, is kind of misleading. The colors are single only. You cannot rotate the colors simultaneously. So it's not like an RGB setup where it kind of morphs into different colors. It has a uh, pulse setting option, which basically lets you go from red to blue to purple, but you'll never actually see both sets of any, any kind of setup where lights are on simultaneously. You never see blue and red at the same time. You see purple, blue, or red going on at the same time. So that's first of all. That, so that box is a little misleading. The cord is braided, as you can kind of see here with my terrible handiwork. But it's a uh, nice braided cords. That's that's a little bit of a plus. The cord is a good length, so I had plenty of extra length to do what I had to do. Number pad, very minimalist keyboard, which is why I got it. I got it because it's very minimalist. The other keyboard I had was very big and bulky. It was kind of designed to have that like place for your hand, which I'd never really used that much. This is this is marketed as a gaming keyboard, and if you were to call it anything, I guess you might want to call it memchanical, that kind of BS term for a non-mechanical keyboard that kind of still feels like it's got that click resistance to it. The click is not terribly audible, so just keep that in mind. There's only two buttons and the functionality on this keyboard. Uh, other keyboards like this will let you push like the light button and the print screen button and let you rotate. The only options here are off, red, blue, purple, and to let it actually heartbeat or pulse from red to blue to purple. You can't have it pulse on one single color. It will not work. And you'll see me basically fidgeting around because the instructions on this, because it's Chinese, are, or bad Chinese translation, doesn't exactly have useful information. So the little star button down there it looks like a light bulb next between control and function. That cycles through all the basic colors just being constantly lit. If you want to make it pulsate, you have to hit function, then that light button. And that's it. There's nothing really else to it. There's no other functionality. I, no matter what I did, even in the instructions that say, hey, you can do this other stuff with it, you can't. This is all it does. There's no extra functionality to it. I just keep it lit red because that's the theme of my gaming PC. It's all red with black, so that's kind of classic look to it. Um, as far as the quality, it's very responsive. It feels good to the touch. It's minimalist. It kind of has that it has that mechanical look and feel to a certain degree, but you don't get that like really... I guess I'll say satisfying click that you would get from like the cherry switches. So if you're looking for a really cheap option, I got this from Amazon. It was $13. So I mean, a very inexpensive keyboard. I think now it's up to $21. It was only like a special, so it was really marked down. But uh, it's DB Power. That's all there is to it, really, guys. Not a whole lot of extra information about this particular product. Again, thumb the video up if you found it helpful or help you decide to make a purchase. I like the keyboard, and please subscribe and help the channel out. And have a great day.